Welcome to Saarbrücken in southwest Germany, a vibrant cultural city with Baroque architecture bordering France. The metropolis on the Saar River, an easygoing city with a feel-good factor. Hello, I'm Paul Hand and greetings badminton fans to quarterfinals Friday of the High Low Open Badminton from the Saarland Halle, Saarbrücken. A five and a half thousand capacity multi-purpose indoor arena that opened in 1967. We're closing in on the business end of the tournament and this is the last World Tour Super 500 event of the season that marks the end of a six-week European swing. Following this, it's on to our three-week three Indonesian indulgence, the Indonesian Masters, Indonesian Open, and then, of course, the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals rounds out the season. Also with the World Championships, of course, in Huelva in Spain. So only two more World Tour tournaments this season following this. Here's our quarterfinals Friday order of play to get us underway. A top 20 Thai Malaysian men's singles quarterfinal between Kantafon Wangchiro and the world number 18, who takes on Li Zhijia in a sixth clash between him and the world number eight. Then the dangerous Thai tandem in men's doubles, Supak Jomko and Kizunapong Kedron, grapple with the sixth seeds of England, Ben Lane and Sean Vendy in a first meeting. Then match three, a top 15 mixed doubles clash, peaking home interest with Germany's Mark Lamsfuss and Isabel Lohau. They take on Praveen Jordan and uh, Octavianti, the world number fives. They're tied at one win each head to head, who will win today's third meeting. Match four features men's doubles supremos from Indonesia, Marcus Fernaldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukumulyo, who take on a couple of top 50 Danes in a first meeting, Lungard and Thierry. Match five brings court one's second men's singles as former world number one from India, Kidabi Shrikant, squares off with Angus and Carlong of Hong Kong in an all-seeded top 15 clash. Then we've women's singles, Kirschfeld against Chewan, the world number 29, who downed her compatriot, the second seed Cho Chuang in the women's singles last night. And then uh, Poivre Nukro and Tara Tanachai as top seeds in the mixed doubles. They take on Fizal and Wijaya of Indonesia in that one. And then to round out our quarterfinals Friday TV coverage, it'll be women's doubles from Germany. Linda Effler and Isabel Lahau take on Iwanaga and Naka Nishi of Japan. So plenty for you on quarterfinals Friday. Our first one, a men's singles quarterfinal, one of two from the bottom half of the draw sheet that we'll be bringing you, featuring Kantafon Wang Chiro and the eighth seed in an all-seeded clash who takes on the Malaysian superstar Li Zijia as the second seed at the foot of the draw. And of course, uh, the tournament looking a little lopsided because all of the seeds are intact in the bottom half of the draw as we look at it there. But up above, you can see that, uh, well, there's only Rasmus Gemke, the fifth seed from Denmark, who is surviving. Here come our athletes. Kantafon Wang in, leading the way out, the eighth seed, world number 18, just six spots off his uh, career high that he reached in August 2019 of 12 in the world. He has uh, played 16 matches this year, won seven, lost nine. Five foot eight from Bangkok. Okay. I give you the Kantafon. choice, red or black? Black. Red for you? Black, black for you, okay. Red for you, okay. Three, two, head to head, you can see Wang in leads. You serve, and you stay here? Okay. Just a strong gesture from Li Zizia, if he wants to stay. He had to save a couple of match points against Pablo Abian of Spain, did Li Zizia. 24-22, coming through a very tight one in his opening round of 32 clash. Then he downed uh, Nat Nguyen of Ireland. Straight game affair that was. But this one will be interesting because these two, well, they've met five times as we saw on the graphic earlier. And uh, this man from Thailand leads 3-2 head-to-head, -head, the 23-year-old. Five foot eight tall. 
from the Thai capital. Ranked 18th in the world. He himself had a win on Wednesday over Brian Yang of Canada. It was 21, 12, 21, 18 in 35 minutes and then down to Surab Verma again comfortably around the half hour mark. So he's uh, on form here seemingly. Fairly emphatic route through those opening two matches. World Championships bronze medalist from Basel in August 2019 is His opponent, the reigning All England Open champion of this year, coming into uh, Germany of a first round at the French Open and a quarter final showing at the Denmark Open, where he lost to uh, Victor Axelsen, the eventual champion on home soil. 24 years of age, I'm pretty sure. Lise Jia is. He's uh, contested 18 matches this season, won 11, lost seven of them. And as I say, had to save a couple of match points to come through that tight opening round against the veteran Spaniard, Abien. Just six minutes shy of an hour, and then uh, just uh, almost 40 minute match against Ireland's Nguyen. Ready to play. Who himself took out HS Pranoy in a very tight opening match. Christoph Usebord of Germany in the chair, presiding over this one. And the service judge opposite from Great Britain. So we're pretty much set then. Only two more World Tour events in 2021 remaining. Lizzie James is the service judge. What will unfold in this sixth chapter between these two top 20 men singles players? World number 18 to get us underway. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Lee Ziyia, Malaysia. And on my left, Kanta von Wangsarun, Thailand. Kanta von Wangsarun to serve. Love all. Play. Love is over. One love. Mm, yes. Strong start Two from the Malaysian. Love. Three. Love. So it's over. One, three. Well, they're head to head of three, two, favoring the Thai athlete in your picture. Seems almost irrelevant, really, as they last met at the Thai Masters in 2017 when they were just out of juniors, really, in their fledgling pro careers. So it's over. And coming in here, Wang Chiroin lost uh, in the first round of both the Danish and the French Open recently. His last quarter final appearance was in the Swiss Open a while ago. Yeah, it's Beautiful play and first and challenge of the match. Wayne Tron thinks that this has spilt in. wide of the sideline. Let's take a look. Yeah, there's me suggesting that it has an irrelevance, the head-to-head, -head, but of course, always in a player's mind, it helps, doesn't it, to have led the way 3-2 for this 23-year-old from Thailand. And, uh, well, despite uh, a couple of first-round losses coming here, He's been in good form here so far. That's a great challenge. Eagle-eyed is Cantafon. Correction, Correction out. out. So it's over. over. Two, four. Mm. 
So it's over. Brimming with power, isn't he? Li Zhijia. Five, two. Six, two. It's certainly been a no-nonsense start from the world number eight. Yeah, good over. straight smash from Kent Fon Wang Tron. Three. Well, we started six. with three match courts on Tuesday here until Thursday, and uh, then went to two courts today. And uh, court two is just uh, about to commence with a men's doubles quarter final. Indonesians. All Indonesian affair it is over there. Adjacent. Four, six. And uh, again, tomorrow on semi final Saturday. It'll be two courts, and then for the final on Sunday, just the one show court where the focus drills down a little bit brighter. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, it's over. Wonderful tumbling net shot from Li Zizia. Seven, Tron, unable to four. do anything with that. Precision here. There's a six courted uh, practice facility at the Hermann Neuberger Sportschule where the players have been working out in preparation for their matches. Yeah, so wonderfully done. Great uh, defense from Wang Chiro. Five, seven. Generous prize money in this tournament that used to be the Saar Lorlocks Open, which was a World Tour 100 event as of last year. It got the upgrade this year to a World Tour Super 500. Prize money boost along with it as well. These guys have uh, earned themselves over 5,000 US dollars already for their efforts in today's quarterfinals. And uh, stand to six, make 6,420 US dollars the winner of this one. And of course, the all important world ranking points as well. Service over. Keeping his nose in front is Eight, the Zhao. Six. Well, on semi final Saturday, we'll be bringing you eight matches from 1 pm, just an hour later, local time here in Saarbrücken. Sunday, all five finals from 1 pm as well. Just a little greedy with the clip down there, Wang Chiron. Nine, six. <laughs> Service over. Seven, nine. And his game is founded the bedrock of it is his ability to attack so avidly at the earliest opportunity in the point but he has really bolstered his defensive prowess this is yeah oh, 
Just a little too keen there, Wayne So it's over. 10, 7. Indeed, in that uh, Thai Masters 2017 clash, it was Wang Chiron that came through. 22-20 in the deciding game, an encounter that lasted an hour and seven minutes back then, four years or so ago. Oh, that's gorgeous. 11 7. Really well interval. played by the Malaysian number one, the world number eight. Off to a flyer, 11 7. To the mid game interval he goes. One twenty seconds. Card one twenty seconds. Well, the BWF have published their uh, revamp BWF tournament schedule for twenty twenty two, culminating in the season ending HSBC BWF World Tour finals in Guangzhou next year. Eleven in China. seven. This year, of course, it's in the Huelva in Spain. Play. It's all based on that principle of cluster tournaments, primarily through Asia as well as traditional European tournament stops. 12-7. And of course the cluster tournament theme resolves the challenges of cross-border travel. That's what it's all about. Just uh, slightly easier for everybody, officials and athletes of course. Agey play from both. 13, With a six point cushion right now. Oh, there's a wonderful ability of Li Zhijia and, and just a, a point demonstrating just how his defences 14, have been bolstered seven. somewhat, saving the point, getting back to neutral and turning it around wonderfully with a straight kind of half smash to secure the point. Really great turnaround. Pancheron with a stare down the court as if to say, what was that? Well, just to sort of give you a little bit of perspective, in the top half, the top seed Cho Tian Chen lost to Lo Kian Yu of Singapore on day two. Straight game affair, 18 and 13 that. Top seed downed in his first match. Not on day three, India's Lexia Shen and Kidambi should count the progress to the quarterfinals. Seven. While Sen got the better of the four seed, Wang Tsu Wei in straight games. Kidambi needed three games to outplay Li Dong Kyun. And Li Shuk Yu was down by Vitisan. Another okay. Thai very much in form, the world number 24. So the seeds won four and seven in the top half went early fell early 
and Erasmus Gemke from Denmark, the fifth seed, surviving the quarterfinals up top. So it's over 8.15. But just above this one, we've got Kidambi Shrikant, the sixth seed, who takes on Angus and Karl on the third seed in the draw. And uh, that match will meet the winner of this one. We'll be bringing you that. That's the fifth match on quarterfinals Friday on court one. Nine, 15. And the penultimate match that these two guys played was at the BWF World Junior Mixed Team Championships in 2016 when Li Zhizha came through. 21-18, 21-13. That was back in November 2016, so five years ago. But uh, how much both have uh, greatly improved since then, particularly the Malaysian. Building on all of that bank of belief 10, that he 15. engineered from the title win at the uh, All England Open in March of this year, having made semis the year prior, lost out to Axelson that year. Eleven fifteen. This is a man that made the BWF World Junior Championship bronze medal back in 2016, that year that we mentioned. Also a uh, Southeast Asian Games bronze medalist in 2019 in men's singles. Runner-up in the Thai Masters 2017 to Tommy Sugiato. So it's over. But there's a little bit of a disparity in attack. Li Zhizhia, very prominent 11. in that regard. Wang not so. Sometimes struggles to score in that department. Oh, that's really nice from Li Zhizhia, who's got all the answers right 17, now. 11. And with it. A cushion of six points on the scoreboard as well. Now, it was interesting, wasn't it, during the Sudan Cup that, uh, you know, Vidicin got selected and uh, Wang Chiron was sort of somewhat overshadowed by the in-form Kunlavut, who seemed to play the majority of fixtures for Thailand. Yeah, just that little bit more sting and attack. And he knows how big that point was. 18, that was clutch. 11. Already bolstered by a, a run of six consecutive points. Just moments ago, Li Zhizha. So it's over. 12, 18. Oh. Oh. Service over. 19, 12. Racing towards 21, then, is the Malaysian standout here. He's really kept Cantafon at arm's length, managed his opponent very, very well. An opponent that at the moment just looks a little bit vexed of idea. We know about his watertight defence, but uh, Li Zhizhia has enough to breach it at the moment.
service over. 13, 19. Oh, he's got luck on his side as well. That one danced 20, on game the top point, of the net court 13. momentarily. And now oh. Lee Zizha has got game points are plenty. Game. First game won by Lee Zizha, 21-13. Well, a wry smile of frustration from Wang Chiron. But the first game goes to Li Zijia after 17 minutes of action, 21 points to 13. Things really looking up for the reigning All England Open champion in this first quarterfinal on Friday. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Thai athlete with work to do. Cantafon Wang Chiron up against it. Against the might of the game. world number eight, Li Zizia. Love all. In a must win game situation Play. if he wants to detain the Malaysian. Oh, well played. So really over. nice. Li Zizia just seemed to lose the shuttle visually a little there. One love. In his opening encounter against Pablo Abia, Li Zizia suggested that the shuttles were very fast and he was making a lot of errors. Had to really tidy up to find the way home. But a lot of tough questions asked. And you'd imagine how liberating that is for the Malaysian, having come through such a tight encounter, one in which he had to Two. save a couple of match points. Love. Very often it's uh, quite uh, liberating and a player thereafter just seems like a cat with nine lives that they feel more expansive, more expressive as a consequence and well who knows, he may go on to do very, very well here. He's certainly looking good in this first quarter final of the day. Yeah, brilliant. Spreading so the court beautifully over. with his attacks. <laughs> there was a little flurry of four consecutive points of encouragement midway through that opening game for Cantafon. But not a One, lot else thereafter, two. really. Can he get his teeth in here? He needs to come out of this game absolutely blazing and really sort of set the tempo. And that's a tough ask, though, against this top tenner, the other side of the net.
Oh, high quality point there from both Service players. Over. Wang Chiron digging very, very deep to engineer a two point cushion in the early Three, stages of game one. two here. He's getting his teeth in nice and early, just as the doctor ordered. Lee just okay. a little greedy with the reverse slice. Long, gruelling rally of 25 shots, that one. And of course, when you're on the back end of a six-week European swing, <laughs> all these athletes are pretty fatigued, frankly. Thanks. All work so hard off court with their physical prowess and mental preparation as well. It takes its toll, as does the travelling and the COVID protocol wherever you go. Locator forms need to be filled in and... Well done. But it's just great to have these events on. And Four, one. There's a, a smattering of fans already. Early doors on quarterfinals Friday. Oh, wonderful. Lovely cross smash from Wang Chiron. Five, one. Oh, glorious touch. Six, one. Now then, it really means business. Doing what he did in that opening game is a, a run of four consecutive points. Can he get to a handful? Seven, one. Yes, he can. An emphatic response to the loss of the opening game then from the Thai athlete. Zizha just Lee finds Zizha challenges called the cross out. smash, or does he? Having to go upstairs to get it checked. He thinks so. Just the second challenge of this encounter so far. No, he hasn't. He's missed it. Challenge so unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Chiron turns the screw. Eight, one. A wonderful six-point flurry consecutively from Wang Chiron. Play. Nine. One. Well, only two of their previous five encounters have gone the distance, and the last one, having lost the opening game in the Thai Masters in 2017, Wang Chiron went on to win the match, 22-20, and the decider. So, you know, you Ten, can't write him off, and particularly one. with this scoreline right now, he's looking absolutely dictatorial out here. He's really raised the bar. Nine-point cushion. He'll be feeling pretty good if he can get to the uh, mid-game interval with this kind of a lead. So it's over to 10. That's gone as well. So uh, Li Zhizhia is struggling a little. Wang Chiron's raised the bar. And a nine point cushion. For the Thai athlete, 11 points to two. What a turnaround at the early stages of game two here.
Court 120 seconds. Court 120 seconds. Eleven two. Play. So it's over three eleven. So as we head towards the half hour mark of time played on show court one. It's uh, Cantafon Wajiran who's really turned this second game around nicely. Now, how will Lee Zizhat respond? 4-11. 5 11. Can he get back to his normal, no-nonsense, aggressive, all-out attack that we saw in game one quite prevalently? And that's good from Maitron. 12-5. Five. Certainly the tie has minimised unforced errors. It's been frugal in that regard in game two. 13-5. Fourteen, five. Out. So it's over. Six, fourteen. So it's over. 15-6. Certainly has been buoyed by that eight-point flurry of consecutive points earlier in the game, won't you, Ron? He's really got a taste for it right now, getting his teeth into this match nicely. 16-6. Six. And Li Zhijia, well, he's uh, taken a wrong turn in the road. Needs to flick his sat-nav back on. Oh, nicely done. So it's We're over. looking relaxed and nonchalant. Seven, sixteen. Lee there with that cross smash. Wang Chiron looking back to his coach. Perhaps the lift away just a little short. Got the treatment from the six foot one Malaysian as it did again. Eight. Got to keep him 16. pegged back to that back line. There's no doubting that this man is laden with power. When you see him, when he rips his shirt off, he's sort of racing snake lean. There's not an ounce of fat on him. All muscle. All these athletes in great shape. So commendable. Bristling with power again. But with work to do. 9-16. How will the badminton drama unfold then over the next three days here? Wall to wall action. We're bringing you our live and continuing coverage. Who will be the first Ten, seat 16. to stumble in the bottom half? Eleven, sixteen. So strong in attack. Look at this. Brutal. The variety as well. Stand out. Well, it's been called wide. Now, so I understand 
why he's challenged this. This was really close. I'm looking right down that line. It's it's touch and go. It's tough to say which way this one Lizier went, but he's certainly got a case, has Li Zhijia, as we go upstairs for the third time in the match. Has he found the line or not? This is very important for him at this stage. Still five points to drift in game two, but he's hauling the scoreline back round nicely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is just in <laughs> by millimetres. How about that? Precision badminton from the world number eight. Correction, in. Service over. Right. 12, 16. Suddenly on a little flurry of his own, that's six consecutive points for Lee. Play. Oh, he suddenly got his focus back and the intensity is with it as well. And he's looking really good now. And Wang Chiron, 13, very 16. expressive towards his coach. A look of, uh, well, panic, frankly, because Li Zhijia has really shifted back up into a very high gear here. And that last point marks a seventh consecutive point. Can he sustain? There's number eight in a row as well, and he is really, really into this again. Mijija nibbling away at the 14, heels 16. of Wang Chiron. No, no, no. Use your shoot. There's nothing. I wanted to change things up a little. You know, I get that. Just needs a change and anything he can to momentarily step off stage and stop the rot. Fifteen, sixteen. And momentarily there was an eerie silence around the silent Halla. That's nine points in a row now for the Malaysian star, who has done so off. well. 16-6 down. Ten consecutive points for Li Zhijia. Looking very, very classy right now as Wang Chiron was in the early exchanges of game two. He's got all the answers. 11 17, in a row. 17, 16. But can he see this game off? Playing at the crest of his abilities right now. So easy just to lose your way momentarily and it all slips away. Can he sustain? So it's over. 17. Well, it's off. a game played with fine margins. That one just uh, kissing the top of the tape. So it's over. Super net plate from Lee. 18, 17. And he's had quite a storm to weather, hasn't he, Wang Chiron, of late? He's got his rain mac on, that's for sure. It's just been an endless barrage of power and guile and finesse from Lee. Outstanding, absolutely incredible point from Li Xiu Zhao. And with that, just an extended roar at the end of the point. 
announcing just how pleased he was with himself right there. 1970. Yeah, take a bow. Look how much he's improved. There's a swagger about the man right now, and it's great to watch. What a long rally goes his way. He is playing commanding badminton. So it's over. Yeah, the net lift away too short, and Wang Chiron hangs in there, nibbling away at the psyche of Li Zhijia. Had such a dictatorial lead on the scoreboard just moments ago. 16-6 up he was, 19. the tie. Only to watch it all evaporate so quickly. Is there anything left from Wang Chiron? Yes, there is. Denied any 19. angle momentarily oh. from the smash of Li Zizia coming straight at him. But he still found a way. So deadlock in this unusual second game. Extraordinary swings of momentum. Oh. Outstanding again from Li Zizia. So it's over. And a wince and a grimace from Wang Chiron in response to that as he yields a match point opportunity match point for his opponent. 19. Big play, timely play from Wang Chiron. As he holds the oh. game back to juice. Can he hold on? The question on everybody's lips. Yeah, so popped that up too high, and it got the treatment. And Li Zhijia making an in point uh, emphatically at... 21-20. Uh, an apology. So here we go, then. The second match point opportunity for Li Zhijia. Having trailed 2-3 head-to-head coming into this, you can see what it meant to Li Zhijia to come through that tight straight game affair. Down in Cantafon, Wang Chuan, 21-13, 22-20. After 40 minutes of action, he took the match on second match, match point opportunity. He punches his ticket 13, to semi-final Saturday, the first player through to notch his place and extend his stay to the weekend in Saarbrücken. And it was a, a really prolonged celebration. And just an announcement of utter relief for Li Zhijia, who just keeps on rolling out here in Saarbrücken. Confirmation of the scoreline. 21-13, 22-20 after 40 minutes of action. Li Zhijia, the Malaysian second seed at the foot of the men's singles draw, is through to semi-final Saturday.
Welcome back then to Saarbrücken, the highlight.